Over the last 10 years, the college town of Athens, Georgia, has given us such intriguing acts as the B-52s, REM, Pylon, and Love Tractor, just to name a few. We wanted to find out more about this musical hotspot, so we sent our man Tim Summer down to take a guided tour of Athens with the B-52s themselves. Anybody press the button? Oh. Athens is a small college town on the grid system. None of the lights are coordinated so that you have to stop at every corner. When we first started coming to, to New York, they said, you're from Athens, like it was from Neptune. Athens, Georgia, red clay, all night parties, loud bands, cheap, cheap rents. It's also the home of the B-52s and R.E.M. Right before they played their homecoming gig, the B-52s showed us around their hometown. Well, we're at the hot corner in Athens, Whoa. GA, and this is the Bluebird Cafe, which used to be the El Dorado Cafe, where we before always Before that, sat. it was. Before that, it, the oh, it was right. the El Dorado restaurant. <laughs> and there's the first, actually, I don't know what it is now, but we played there. It used to be the original 41. It's we the, never uh, played there. We no. played there. There's the church Cindy got married no, in. No, it's not. It's not. No. This, this is, is our it. old studio where such masterpieces as Rock Lobster, Rock Lobster Planet Claire. Uh, we had a fun. rehearsal pattern which we've never changed. We would rehearse a little while and then we kind of scatter and we go eat. We'd go down to the Potter's house and buy some thrift store clothes and wigs and we'd come back to rehearse. It's an old funeral parlor and we rehearsed in the bloodletting room, not to be gruesome. Oh! We're coming up to the Georgia Theater, which is one of the places everybody played it early on in Athens. Also, Abby, the female exorcist, played there. That was a good movie. There's an antenna. Courthouse. Oh, that's where I got divorced. And that's where I got married. We're coming up to Dunkin' Donuts. Turns into an animal. <laughs> Dodos. Dodos. There used to be a beautiful church from 1857, but we didn't need that. We wanted Dodos. <laughs> If you haven't discovered thrift stores in your neighborhood yet, you're missing something, because you never know what you're going to find. Hey, I'm standing here on the former site of the zoo, which was the first hippie house in Athens, now departed, and there it is, the house on Millage Avenue where we played our first gig. And here's the site of another very famous first gig. Right now, this looks like a decrepit, abandoned old church. But 10 years ago, it was a decrepit, abandoned old church, but with REM inside of it. People in Athens are very protective of the B-52s and REM. Uh, they're, they're really sort of adored in, a, in an almost religious way. A lot of them said, boy, if they can do it, we can too, because we weren't exactly professionals. I mean, we did the best we could with our, you know, our um, talents and limitation. Athens, Georgia, home of the stars. We're going to take another break, but we'll be back with album art from the streets of New York with Trotsky and Italian rap star Giovanotti. And to get you prepared for him, here right now is a quick lesson in Italian sign language. Volare. Let's fly way up to the clouds, away from the maddening crowds. Your news now on MTV News at Night. 30 minutes of music. Interviews with artists. You know, I never thought it was really good, but I do think I'm getting better. Good videos. And Kurt Loder. Waiting for the Rolling Stones to take the stage. All in one place, every Monday through Thursday, 8.30, 7.30 Central. MTV News at Night.